Welcome to another TOEFL listening practice video. In this video, you will listen to a lecture, answer some questions about it, review the correct answers and explanations. Don't forget to subscribe for more TOEFL listening practice. Welcome to today's lecture on the fascinating world of microorganisms and their vital role in human health. While we often associate microorganisms with illness, they are actually a double-edged sword, playing a crucial role in keeping us healthy. Let's delve into the microscopic world and explore how these tiny creatures contribute to our well-being. The microbiome, a thriving ecosystem. Within our bodies are teeming with trillions of microorganisms, mainly bacteria, but also fungi and viruses. This vast collection is called the microbiome, and it resides in various areas, primarily the gut, but also on the skin and in other organs. The gut microbiome is the most diverse, with hundreds of different bacterial species working together to maintain a healthy gut environment. Beneficial bacteria, the guardians of our gut. These beneficial bacteria perform several essential functions. They aid in digestion by breaking down complex carbohydrates and producing vitamins like vitamin K. They also help regulate the immune system, preventing harmful pathogens from colonizing the gut. Additionally, the gut microbiome plays a role in metabolism and nutrient absorption. Disruption of the microbiome Consequences for health factors, like antibiotic use, stress, and diet, can disrupt the delicate balance of the gut microbiome. This imbalance, known as dysbiosis, has been linked to various health problems, including digestive issues, inflammatory bowel disease, and even obesity. Promoting a healthy microbiome, dietary choices matter. Fortunately, we can influence the composition of our gut microbiome through diet. Prebiotics, which are essentially food for beneficial bacteria, are found in foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Probiotics, live beneficial bacteria themselves, are found in yogurt, kefir, and some fermented foods. Consuming these can promote a healthy balance in the gut microbiome. Lecture Summary In conclusion, microorganisms, particularly the gut microbiome, play a significant role in maintaining human health. Beneficial bacteria aid in digestion, vitamin production, and immune system regulation. Disruption of the microbiome can lead to health problems, but we can promote its health through a diet rich in prebiotics and probiotics. One, according to the lecture, what is the microbiome primarily composed of? Two, based on the lecture, what role do beneficial bacteria play in the gut microbiome? Three, what does dysbiosis refer to, according to the lecture? Four, according to the lecture, how can individuals promote a healthy gut microbiome? Five. 
How does the lecture portray disruptions in the gut microbiome? Six. According to the lecture, what is the function of prebiotics in promoting a healthy gut microbiome? The lecture states that the microbiome consists mainly of bacteria, but also includes fungi and viruses residing in various areas of the body. Within our bodies are teeming with trillions of microorganisms, mainly bacteria, but also fungi and viruses. The lecture explains that beneficial bacteria aid in digestion by breaking down complex carbohydrates and produce vitamins like vitamin K. They aid in digestion by breaking down complex carbohydrates and producing vitamins like vitamin K. Dysbiosis is defined in the lecture as the imbalance or disruption of the gut microbiome, which can lead to various health problems. This is for health factors, like antibiotic use, stress, and diet can disrupt the delicate balance of the gut microbiome. This imbalance, known as dysbiosis, The lecture emphasizes that individuals can promote a healthy gut microbiome by consuming foods rich in prebiotics and probiotics, which support beneficial bacteria. Fortunately, we can influence the composition of our gut microbiome through diet. Prebiotics, which are essentially food for beneficial bacteria, are found in foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Probiotics, Live beneficial bacteria themselves are found in yogurt, kefir, and some fermented foods. The lecture discusses disruptions in the gut microbiome, dysbiosis, as linked to health problems, such as digestive issues and inflammatory bowel disease, indicating a negative impact. For health factors. Like antibiotic use, stress, and diet can disrupt the delicate balance of the gut microbiome. This imbalance, known as dysbiosis, has been linked to various health problems. Prebiotics are described in the lecture as food for beneficial bacteria, helping to promote their growth and maintain a healthy balance in the gut microbiome. Prebiotics, which are essentially food for beneficial bacteria, are found in foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains.